shall reflect on the life of Saint Monica. Saint Monica, a Christian, was married at the age of 20 to Patricius, a pagan official at Tagaste. The violent temper and dissolute pagan habits of her husband, whom she bore three children, caused them much suffering and made the Christian education of their offspring rather difficult. But after 18 years of married life, Patricius finally embraced the faith and died soon after. Thenceforth, Augustine, her eldest son, was a sole preoccupation, for during his studies at Carthage, he had become ensnared by the Manichaean heresy, and his passions had led him into an illicit attachment with a woman who became his mistress for the next 15 years. Monica tried in vain to persuade a visiting bishop who had himself passed the Manichaean errors to lead a son back to the truth. But he felt the time was not ripe and she had to content herself with his assurance that it is impossible that the son of such tears should perish. When Augustine decided to teach rhetoric in Rome, Monica wished to accompany him. But he deceived her by a ruse and sailed off alone. From Rome, he moved on to Milan where he obtained a professorship. Monica followed him there, where she befriended the great bishop, St. Ambrose, whose eloquence and sanctity helped Augustine to come into the church at Easter in the year 387. When Monica and her illustrious son reached Ostia, the port of Rome, to embark to Carthage, she died in his arms at the age of 56. Under the patronage of Saint Monica, as one who knew well how to overcome evil with good, there was founded in the 19th century in Paris an association of Christian mothers for mutual prayers on behalf of wavered sons and husbands.